everyone a happy Essence Fest 2024, celebrating 30 years of Essence in our city of New Orleans. Yep. And we have something very special for you today. Oh, we do. Oh. And you know what? If you've watched a few of our last videos we put out, you may enjoy it. And well, a few weeks ago, we took you along to the opening of Gianna's Bayou Adventure. But guess what? Gissing is here in our city of New Orleans at Essence and they're all about Princess Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So we're taking you along to the Disney experience here in Fest at the convention center. There's going to be meet and greets, there's going to be performances, there's also going to be a Disney panel. And I hear there's going to be a lot of Imagineers here. And also the voice of Tiana we hear is in the house. So this is going to be amazing for all you Disney lovers like us. You're going to be in your glory. So we're so excited to bring you along. And guys, stay tuned for our second video of Princess Tiana's Mighty Adventure coming up when Team AJ gives you the review. Two New Orleans go to Magic Kingdom to ride Tiana's Mighty Adventure. Did we love it? Did we love it? Stay tuned to find out. Wait for that video that's coming very, very soon. So thank you to Disney for having us every year at Essence Fest. We're excited to hang out with you like we had did the last two years. Shout out to all the Disney cast members who make this possible and give us some magic for free here at Essence Fest. It doesn't get any better than that. And let's go get our ears on, guys, because we're about to have a great time with Disney. Hope you enjoy this video. We appreciate you and thank you for watching and thank you to Disney for having us every year because you definitely made our Essence Fest. Now I feel like I'm at Disney World with the end of the line I'm at the end of the line. You got a YouTube channel? I saw y'all at Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was working Pokemon. I watched y'all video. Oh, awesome. Hey, we are hanging out with Disney here at Essence Fest, the convention center. This is something we look forward to every year. We're going to get our ears on. Yes, they give out free ears, free goodies to all the people that come and visit them at Essence. They also give away free cruises and stuff, so we're excited to find out what they're doing this year. Also, they have dance parties. They just have so much fun. Well, they gave us these slips at Disney, and we had to go to the QR code, put our email address, and they wanted us to sign up for a My Disney Experience account. Luckily for us, we're Disney people, so we have that in <laughs> We came to play. I got a feeling like Sunday morning, but we came to play food presented by Disney Experiences right here. Hey, we came to play food. You know what's up. Extra wet ride. Let's go. We're excited. We will not want to get off this ride. Let's join Lewis up ahead. Hello? Anyone down here who can blow a horn? Truly loved it. And we hope that was satisfactory. 
Here at Disney, we aren't really just employees. We're cast members, and we care about each other, and we all support each other. So that means I have the opportunity to really connect with millions of people throughout the company that make magic. So with that being said, I'm gonna actually bring somebody up here who also brings magic to millions across the Disney experiences. So y'all give a praise and welcome to Miss Marsha. Come on up here, Miss Marsha. Y'all get some noise. Oh my God. Good morning, Good James. Good morning, Miss Marsha. Oh. Essence fam, good morning. My name is Marsha Jackson Randolph. I am creative director, inclusive strategy. Basically, my role is one that looks at the stories across our global business, the stories that we are telling so that the stories reflect the audiences, reflect our guests. So uh, I support all of our teams of storytellers across our global business. If you had to pick one attraction to ride, what would it be? One attraction. That one. To be honest, by you adventure. Come on now. No question. No question. Oh, and if you haven't checked out that ride, please come to Walt Disney World right now to make sure y'all. We were there. Your uh, that is one of the reasons. Not only because, not because I like getting wet. Okay. Let's be clear. Uh -huh. That fifty foot drop. Not looking forward to that. But again, I guess this is a love letter to Carmen Smith. I've been on part of the journey with the team that went behind the scenes in terms of developing the story of Tiana's Bayou Adventure and being able to spend time in New Orleans, being able to meet some of the artists who inspired the attraction, being able to spend quality time with Stella Chase and Dookie Chase and that family, and to acknowledge Miss Leah Chase, who was the inspiration for Princess Tiana, to be a part of what we call behind the magic of how this attraction gave, came together. And I'm not an Imagineer, I didn't design the attraction, but to see the power of storytelling at work, that's why that's my favorite attraction. This is the same merch we saw at Disney World when we got on the ride. But this is the fan favorite. The light bug. Everybody loves the light bug in the draw. off to the people here. Look at these incredible fits. I absolutely love it. We are so glad you added a stop on your tropical vacation. And I'm so glad you came to visit us here at Essence Fest. So over in Disneyland Park in California, you can visit Tiana's Palace. That's Tiana's restaurant where you can soak in the Southern hospitality. You can have the best food. Shannon, you had the food. Isn't it so good? Then, I am a huge foodie. Ooh. I mean, we have gumbo, shrimp mm -hmm. and grits, mm. the pole boys, mm. and y'all, my all-time favorite, Tell them. the beignets. Ooh. Listen, the beignets. Ooh. So, so good. It oh. is so good. And you know what? Between being a princess, running a restaurant, having adventures, I'm just trying to calculate and figure out how does she have the time to do everything? Listen, I'm trying to try to figure it out myself. Right? But instead of trying to figure it ourselves, why don't we ask her in person? Is that okay with y'all? That's a great idea. Yeah. Should you bring out Tiana? I think so. All right, and will please give it up for Princess Tiana? Princess Tiana, you look so beautiful today. Can we just ask you, how are you doing? I am doing just well this time. It is always a job and good time when I get to be back home in New York. 
And we have to say, it is such an honor to have you here on our Essence stage here, Tiana. It's so true. And so, Princess Tiana, we were just talking about it. You are a princess. You are a restaurant owner. You do so many things. We want to know, how do you find the time to manage it all? Well, you know, I grew up watching my mom and daddy always work hard for everything that they did. But you know what the most important part is? Make sure that you always do what you love. As they say, doing what you love will never feel like you work. Heard that. That's so true. I feel like that's true for us too as ambassadors. It is. Like, what is work? I work, yeah. I've never worked. It's true. A good time. Exactly. Okay, but we have to ask Tiana because you love to cook. So when it comes to a nice home cooked meal, what is your go to recipe? What's your go to dish? Well, we cook many different types of foods back at Tiana's pack. But a personal favorite of mine has always been a great big batch of beignets. The trick is just a little honey on top. Add that heap and help and powdered sugar and you can't go wrong. Yes! Oh my goodness, we have to come get some of these beignets, Shannon. I told you, they're my favorite. We got to. So we love the classics, I love the beignets, but I know you also really love new and exciting recipes, so can you tell them, what have you been working on? Do you have anything new? Any new recipe? Ooh. Well, Naveen and I have been working on a new jambalaya recipe lately. Ooh. Mm, Y'all will have to come by the restaurant and try it sometime. Say less. We'll take you up on that. We'll take you up on my invitation. <laughs> well, Tiana, we know you are so incredibly busy, but we appreciate you all stopping by and saying hello to everyone today. Can we give it up one more time for Princess Tiana, everyone? Yeah. This board should look kind of familiar to some folks who watch game shows with they, with their grandma too, or your family, or your aunt, or your auntie, or your kids, or your brothers and sisters. So, before we recreate one of my favorite memories, I want to know who's playing today. Tell me your name. My name is A-Rod. We got A-Rod hanging with us. And where are you from? I'm from here in Kowali. We so glad to have you at home, base. Until on Sunday, I love you. I'm playing, y'all. What's your name? Yeah. It's what's up. You want. All right. Test number one, what was your number? My number four. Number four. Let's see what you're walking away with today. Number four. You got a set of big yay ears. We got love it. Ears. Love we got it. Big yay ears, y'all. Thank y'all so much for playing. Y'all clap it up for these folks. Woo. They just help me. And you know what? I got ears, y'all. As I think ears. about recreating Congrats memories. To all the winners. You got all the Emotions. Wow, so we that are just even That's legit. Even with us right now. That's right. Uh, listen, we fought the cup while we were here. They didn't get the ears. Now we got the magic ears. Make sure to check it out. It's about spending time with family. It's about us making sure. We came to play. With this day, I got the best 2024. We're bringing you guys along. This is where I want to be. Just drop on 
Walt Disney Imagineering continues the tale of Disney's first black princess in the all-new Tiana's Bayou Adventure. A thrilling new attraction now open at Walt Disney World Florida and at my house coming soon to the Disneyland Resort in California reunites guests with favorite characters from the original film and expands Tiana's rich bayou milieu with a completely new chapter of her story. Uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure builds on the cherished legacy of black storytelling through lived experiences of the many talented storytellers who have breathed life into Tiana for 15 years. This is the anniversary, y'all. 15 years. So now I am beyond excited to introduce to you some of the creative queens behind Tiana's journey, from movie screen to the Magic Kingdom. Now, let's bring out here Disney Imagineers, Charita Carter and Carmen Smith, the legendary Jennifer Lewis, and Princess Tiana herself, beloved character since the beginning. They love you. They love you. Come on now. As a musical theater girl myself, uh, I was the first one in the theater, but I think some might be surprised by all the ways you influenced Tiana as, as she came to life on the animator's desk. So before we get into our conversation, we're just going to show them a little taste of that above our heads. Above, above my heads. Anika was was terrific to work with. She has a lot of, I think, Tiana in her, and that she's she's so smart and so focused, um, and yet very very appealing. When you find something that you love, it's not a sacrifice at all. She asked me in one of the very first recording sessions. She said, "Could she be left-handed? Because I'm left-handed." I said, "Yeah, oh yeah, certainly. Why not?" I, I didn't mean to scare you. I wait, no, 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 wait, no, hold on. No. No. You have a very strong arm, princess. Yeah. Anything in mind can believe. Animation, 2D animation especially, can achieve. We're creating Disney's next princess. We want to make sure stands right up against all the other great princesses, you know, before her. What experiences did you draw on to give Tiana such an entrepreneurial spirit? I think I basically drew on myself. <laughs> I, um, I come from a very small town in Connecticut. I wanted to do something that people constantly told me was not possible because of where I was from and who had or had not come before me. But my dream was forefront in my brain and it was the thing that I was going to follow. Um, so as far as that movement, that was from me learning about New Orleans and new, learning about that time period. Um, 
I had the great Leah Chase to look at as an example of somebody who was here and did just that. Um, so a lot of it was from me, some was from her and just life experience, my grandmother. But I know what it is to be told that I can't do something and I know what it is to keep pushing forward. So that was very clear to me from the beginning. That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful, everybody? Come on now. So, Jennifer, I think everyone here needs to see your reaction to the uh, new audio animatronic version of Mama Odie. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, throw to this video up here. Whoa, here it is. Hey, sweetie. It's Mama Odie. Oh, not audio. He honestly sure knows how to make a party special. <laughs> I love it. She goes, <laughs> Where'd you get your brains? It's, it's ridiculous. Two, three, four. You gotta do it. Come out a little deeper. Find out who you are. You gotta do it a little deeper. I just, I want to just tell you all. Well, I know it's not mine, but this is a gift. This is such an amazing gift. Bye, honey. I'll see you in the park, okay? Oh, yes. It's Jennifer. role after 15 years. What was it like to step back into this iconic role after 15 years, to revisit? Listen guys, hi everybody! Hey, right now! Here we go! Listen, I drew from a comedian. Her name is Moms Mabley. Yeah, I'm glad you know who she is because I got my comic timing from her. My mother had all of her albums. So when I went into the audition for Mama Odie, they asked me if I could play an old woman. So I just took my teeth out like that. Somebody asked me, Juju, my gumbo spurring it. <laughs> That's what they asked me to say. So I had a great time auditioning. But what Mama Odie means to me is she captures the flavor of New Orleans. That grandmother that cooked gumbo, that grandmother that would sing to you and tell you, you gotta dig a little deeper. So I really put everything in me, from Mom's Mabley to my aunts in St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis is right up the river, yeah. So we have those same recipes for cooking, and I think that the rye really captured the New Orleans culture. So don't miss it when you get to Disneyland or Disney World. Really go in there and enjoy all of that. Thank you so much. Thank you, yes. And to speak about the ride, we have here legendary Imagineers, Carmen and Charita, two of my heroes as well. Um, where will guests meet? So, so where will guests meet her in this new chapter? Well, you know, in this new chapter, it takes place about a year after the movie. And so Tiana, you know, she's celebrating the success of Tiana's Palace, her restaurant. But now she's brought the community together and she has a new brand called Tiana's Foods. And so again, her entrepreneurial spirit reigns high. And again, it is so inspirational. I know I'm inspired, that's right. And Charita, how did Imagineers faithfully capture the city's aesthetic and atmosphere? Well, you know, the attraction is a love letter to the city of New Orleans. And we got some feedback last night that it's not only a love letter, but it's a hug and a love letter. <laughs> It goes all the way back to when Walt brought New Orleans Square to Disneyland. So we have been um, involved with this city. But one of the things I think that was really special about developing this attraction was the fact that we had the opportunity to collaborate with a number of local artists and talent. Artists like Malika Favorite, Sharika Mahdi, Variant, Laurent, Daryl Reeves, who was a blacksmith, and his apprentice, um, Katrina. Uh, Katrina, um, uh, what is Katrina's last name? Come on, what's Katrina's last name? Who knows it? Katrina Roca. Oh, there we go. 
Legacy, the legacy of character, the legacy of a city, and the legacies of the storytellers that made this new experience a reality. So that, that was really beautiful, Charita. And as a cast member and a creative myself, you and Carmen have certainly inspired me. So thank you, thank you so much. The care, the heart, the passion that you have poured into Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the all-over experience. I know what you've crafted will become an instant class y'all so you all got to come visit us please 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 do but we have a little surprise for you here i love it when the boys just appear it's amazing That's right. we wanted to give these flowers to our friends here because we are honored and privileged to show them just a little appreciation for all the work that they have done on this attraction and for the many, many years that they have been part of the Walt Disney Company. So thank you, thank you, thank you for blazing a path for me to be able to sit here too. Thank you, it's an honor to bring this story, this classic story to life. Yeah, it's an absolute honor and I just thank God that this was my assignment. <laughs> That's right, we do what we're told and we love to do it with a smile. That's right. Um, so thank you again for being shining examples of excellence. We're going to go ahead and let you uh, head on out with these gentlemen here. You too, Miss Jennifer, please give it up for the incredible, the legendary Jennifer Lewis. And by incredible castmates, Carmen Smith and Charita Carter. Now, I know you all noticed that uh, I didn't let her leave, right? Because you know we cannot let her leave. There is a band here. She's got a microphone and she looks good. Uh, so please make some noise. Would you please bless us with a song, my new friend? Thank you. Thank First, you. I want to say what's up, New Orleans.
we got our ears on. Congrats to my hun that got his beignet ears. I truly wanted these at Magic Kingdom. I saw people with them, but they're out of production at Magic Kingdom. It's only these. Yeah, we wanted them so bad, but we didn't get there in time. Yeah, so I am so happy that we won them now. I bought my mother the cup as well, the mug. So I may have to get that back for you, moms. Thank you to Disney for that experience. We look forward to this every year. Wow, like it's never a dull moment with Disney. It is always fun, always super magical. Get to meet so many amazing people here. I mean, it had her in tears. Oh, uh, it did because truly like there was just some magical moments with the meet and greets and the characters and the children and even the adults. There was so much love and happiness in everyone's eyes and it literally brought me to tears. So that's the Disney magic, guys. I mean, until you go there and experience it, once you do, you will understand what we mean if you never have. Guys, check out Princess Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It's magical. Check out our first video, the POV ride that we put out. Stay tuned for a review from Two New Orleans coming very soon. By the way, let's talk about that panel real quick that we just saw. With um, Miss Rose singing, the voice actress for Tiana, that was amazing, unexpected. They didn't tell anybody at all that was going to happen. So that was so dope to see the dancers and her doing their thing along with the brass band. That was just magic to my heart there. It was truly a magical moment, especially if you love Disney like us, or even if you don't, you could truly appreciate this moment because here at Essence Fest, they're celebrating 15 years of Princess Tiana, the first black princess. And that is just a beautiful, beautiful thing to see it here at Essence Fest. 15 years of Tiana, that's, that's like, like I said, you could pour all that into my soul. That is just amazing. So with that said, we want to make sure you know that Disney came to play and they truly do not play around when it comes to putting on a show. They go all out. So we would like to thank them. We would like to thank Disney, honestly, because they gave us some leeway that they didn't. They normally wouldn't give. So that was awesome. And we truly appreciate everybody who was kind to us, who took their time, who just all the cast members who literally did everything they could to help us, help assist us bring the best content we can to you, even though they didn't know us. But what was also cool that some of the cast members did know us. So it's just been a blessing. I mean, I won ears. I won beignet ears. I can't. You did good, huh? Yeah. So yes, it was a magical time. So thank you to the Disney cast members and also to the Disney executives for letting us hang out with them. We appreciate you. You know who you are. Thank you for making it even more magical than we already had it. It was magical already. So we appreciate you. Thank you for having us hang out with you. We love you. And we're going to say goodnight from Essence Fest. Essence Fest, we will see you next year in 2025. Yep, so with that said, ladies and let both on roulette. Let the good times roll and happy 30th anniversary, Essence Fest, and cheers to another 30 more. Happy 15th anniversary to Princess Tiana and the movie, The Princess of the Frog. So to the right of us, above, you're going to see the Essence 2024 playlist. Down below, you're going to see our Disney playlist from 2024. Yeah. Check them both out and hopefully you enjoy both of them. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you at the next one.